In this video, I'm going to show you what I do when I leave my paints on my palette for days. And they kind of get to the point of, well, should I use them? Should I scrape it off and put new paint on the palette? If you're one of those frugal painters or you just can't go out and keep buying oil paints because you left them on the palette and they dried up and you got to throw it away, this is a really easy trick that you can use to save your oil paints. My name is Vita Evenson and I paint grease. So here's my palette uh, and you can see the paint. It's been sitting for uh, almost five days now and although there's still some movement in my paint it's not completely dried it is drying though and you have to come back before you start painting and check what's happening uh, and what do you do if you don't want to you know throw the paint away you know one thing you can do this one is really dry so you know I scrape it up just with my palette knife and you know move on to the next the quinacridone usually st uh, stays pretty good for longer it dries slower than some of the other paints but this one even is kind of tacky and what do you do right here this one is not savable this one's good the cad yellow and the titanium white is still good okay so what do you do right you've got, um i've got the burnt sienna which is still okay the ultramarine blue and the quinacridone are iffy so what do you do there's there's two things that i do and let me show you what that is first of all you can still use the ultramarine blue, it's a little bit dry. Here I have some refined linseed oil and it's what I'll be using. So basically I just dip my palette knife in with a drop or two, usually no more, and mix it in. And just two drops has made this absolutely beautiful again it's one of the things that i love about oil paint uh, it is so forgiving i think i'll only do one drop on the quinacridone because it's a smaller amount just mix it in here you know as an example i have a windsor lemon it's windsor newton uh, it's a lemon yellow it's one of my older tubes of paint which comes out a bit too thick so you're making sure your palette knife is completely clean all you need to do is get that in drop one I put two drops on this size of a pile of paint and mix it in and it just breaks it up gets it back and beautiful again because you guys when you're using artist grade paints you basically have the pigment and the oil and look at that beautiful and then it's workable and wonderful so after you mix the um, the linseed oil in you can just go in and add more paint right on top and mix that in. So who are your best friends? Your palette knife and refined linseed oil. Okay, so you can see how easy that was. That's a favorite quick tip. All you need to do is have refined linseed oil. Uh, you can use other oils that are specifically designed for oil paints. So stay simple, stay calm don't flip 
if you're losing uh, your paint, so if they're sitting on the palette, that's one quick tip for saving your oil paints. Oh, if anybody wants to join my YouTube channel, the link is below. You'll see that little join button. It would be great. I would love to have you. Uh, don't end watching full length talking about Ugh, too much editing and I edited everything out. So basically, if you want to join my channel, the link is right below. So with that, have a beautiful day. Be inspired, be creative, and be you.